Daily Message, August 12th, 2023. God Called Mama Home, March the 14th, 2016. But every time I see a flower, I think of Mama, for she loved flowers. I moved to Alaska December 30th, 1994. But every spring, I would fly back to Ohio to help Mama plant her flowers after making our annual spring trip to Sunnyside Nursery. This year, my front deck is a colorful delight between the scarlet-colored dinner plate dahlias, the numerous pots of profusely blooming lavender violas, and yellow and orange nasturtiums, the two pots of peach-colored begonias, the large pot of deep red geraniums, the pot of white geraniums, and a large pot of fluorescent pink roses. Every time I step out onto the deck, or look out the window, it brings joy to my heart and thankfulness to my lips. Tuesday, as I gazed upon that bountiful delight of color, I said to the Creator of all that beauty, Lord, I wish Mama could see my flowers. Oh, how she would enjoy them. But then I recognized that God must delight in such beauty as well, for why would He have created flowers of all shapes, sizes, colors, fleeting beauty, and long-lasting beauty. But then, maybe he did so just to delight us. Maybe it wasn't about his delight or our delight, but about the part flowers play in the circle of life. For their pollen nourishes the bees, and the bees help cross-pollinate the plants, which yield fruit that nourish our bodies. Or, Maybe the delightful, magnificent beauty of the flowers God created is simply to reveal His glory, as written in Isaiah 6, verse 3. And one called out to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of His glory. In Romans 1, verse 20, For since the creation of the world, His invisible attributes... His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood through what has been made, so that they are without excuse. May we take time to just delight in the beauty of that which God has created and recognize it reveals His nature and His glory. With love to all, Pastor Cheryl.